Chapter 11. As the two frogs floated over the, the dense Louisiana bayou, Tiana asked Naveen about Dr. Vasilier. A blue mist hung in the air around them. Uh, uh, he was very charismatic, uh, 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 uh. Naveen replied as a slight drizzle began to fall. Tiana shook her head. They saw a lightning flash in the distance. It serves me right for wishing on, on stars, she said. The only way to get what you want in this world is, is through hard work. Hard work? Naveen asked, surprised. Why would a princess need to work hard? Huh? Tiana asked. Oh, I'm not a princess, she said. I'm a waitress. Naveen was stunned. A waitress? Well, uh, uh, uh. no wonder the kiss did not work. You lied to me. Nah, -uh -uh, Tiana told him. I never said I was a princess. You never said you were a, a lowly waitress. You, uh, you, you, you were wearing a crown. Tiana rolled her eyes. It was a costume party, you spoiled little rich boy, she yelled. Oh, yeah? Naveen huffed. Well, the egg is on your face because I do not have any riches. What? Tiana cried. Naveen shrugged his frog shoulders. I am com completely broke. Suddenly, they both heard the sound of balloons popping. Prince Naveen looked up. Oh, no, he moaned as tree branches poked holes in the few remaining balloons he was holding. The two frogs screamed. Tiana fell face down in the muck. Prince Naveen landed on top of her with, with a plop. Tiana raised her head. Her face was covered with gunk. She struggled to her feet and coughed, but that didn't stop her from continuing to argue. You said you were fabulously wealthy. No, 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 Naveen said, correcting her. My parents are fabulously wealthy. Uh, but they cut me off for being a... <laughs> Naveen suddenly noticed a leech on his leg and shrieked, Leech! To the tiny frog, the bloodsucker was enormous. <sighs> Tiana flicked the leech off... The, uh, 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 the horrified prince and sighed. You're broke? <clears throat> and you have the gall to uh, call me a liar? She demanded hotly. Naveen was about to answer when a huge catfish jumped out, out of the water and snatched the leaf from the air. Both frogs screamed and scrambled away from the murky swamp and onto the muddy shore. Trying to catch his breath, Naveen leaned on a branch and continued the argument. It was not a lie, he said. I fully intend... Suddenly, the branch began to move. Tiana and Naveen looked up. Two beady eyes were staring down on them. They realized it wasn't a branch Naveen was leaning on. It was the leg of a heron, the biggest, hungriest bird either one had ever seen. Tiana dove at Naveen and knocked him out of the way a split second before the bird's big beak slammed down. The heron raced after them as the two little frogs ran for their lives. I fully intend to be rich again once I marry Miss Charlotte LaBeouf. If she will have me, Naveen gasped, hopping as fast as he could. Tiana hopped alongside him. You're a prince? Obviously, <laughs> Naveen replied proudly. Tiana sighed. She'll have you. <laughs> the heron was about to scoop him up when Tiana and Naveen slid down a tree trunk that reached out over the water. The two soared through the air and landed on a floating log. Finally safe again, they watched in relief as the heron flew away into the <coughs> into the blue mist of the bayou, apparently in search of another meal. Tiana looked at Naveen and asked him, Once you two are married, you're going to keep your promise and get me my restaurant, right? Not so fast, Naveen answered. I made that promise to a beautiful princess, not a lowly waitress. He looked around and noticed something cutting through the water. Why are those logs moving? He asked Tiana. Tiana saw the V-shapes. Those aren't logs, she said, her voice quivering. They were alligators, hungry alligators. Tiana and Naveen dove into the water just as the alligator snapped at the log they were sitting on, a log that was actually another alligator. No wonder the heron had flown away from them. Under the water, uh, 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 Tiana paddled toward the roots of a hollow tree and swam inside. Jumping up inside the tree, she finally found a hole where she could look out. The alligators were, were still thrashing in search of frogs. Psst. Uh, 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 uh. Tiana heard a voice below her. She looked down at the bottom of the tree. Lower the vine, Naveen whispered. Find your own tree, Tiana told him. The hissing alligators noticed Naveen on the bank and began to swim toward him. Look! 
Help me get out of the swamp, Naveen cried, and once I marry Charlotte, I shall get you your restaurant. A vine dropped down in front of him. He climbed up to the dark hollow, hollow of that tree. The rain came down harder and lightning flashed. And inside the tree, the two frogs waited out the storm until they both drifted off to sleep.